Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. This is your girl Mandy. I am in the studio today, solo, but it's all good because this is going to be a great episode. I just feel it. Um, before we get started, I do want to thank each and every one of you who bought tickets to the New York City Live Show. June 22nd, it's sold out. I just want to let y'all know it's sold out. Um, you guys are hitting us up for more tickets. It's at a university. So listen, we ain't got standing room. We ain't got nothing for you. I don't know what to tell you. Um, we normally get people um, the week of who cannot attend. And so we will keep you guys posted if any tickets become available. Other than that, I'm excited to see y'all hoes. Um, it will be meet and greet for everyone. So I'm excited to meet all of you that are coming out. Also, I want to give a shout out to the Girl Mob Day. Um, I did a panel discussion this past weekend with the Girl Mob and I was alongside beautiful women, beautiful black entrepreneurs and women who are interested in discussing their mental health and sexual liberation. Um, so again, I just want to shout out the Girl Mob. You guys also should follow them on their social media at the Girl Mob and keep up with all events in New York City that have to do with women empowerment. It was super amazing. And I want to thank everyone who came out and knew about Horrible Decisions. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and introduce our guests because I'm super excited. I've been trying to get them on the show for a long time. We have a couple in the studio again, and I feel like every time we kind of do solo episodes, it's couples. So I'm just excited. I do have two voices with me here today, so you're not just going to hear me the whole goddamn time, I promise. Um, so let's go ahead and I guess, do you guys want to introduce yourselves first and then we'll say why you guys are so horrible? Uh, sure. I'm Gabe. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Ashley. And you guys are together. Yes, we're a couple. Yes. So we have a couple on. And what makes you guys so horrible? What are we going to be discussing today, if you want to let our listeners know? So today, uh, we wanted to talk about the swinger lifestyle. I yeah. am fucking excited. Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys have listened to the show, Wheezy is more into the open relationship part of things. We talk about non-monogamy a lot. And I always say, well, I want to be a swinger. That's what I want to do. Um, I want to be kind of engaged with my partner, and I want to be able to watch him. I want to be able to maybe um, join other couples. And so we're kind of going to delve into what the swinging lifestyle is with the two of you. Yeah. So normally we like to do icebreakers and all this type of shit. Um, we've been starting vanilla shit again. All right. So it only was right. That if I'm on here solo, y'all know I like gossip and shit. So <laughs> y'all know I be trying to be like, but did you see what was going on on Twitter? Um, so I wanted to discuss future. <laughs> um, and I guess I wrote in my book, if you guys read my book Up on Game, I discussed kind of the rules of flying out. Um, are You guys are familiar, however, with what happened with future? Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yes, so for the <laughs> listeners who are not familiar, let me go ahead and pull these messages up because I need y'all to see how this girl fucked up um, because she fucked up. Um, real quick, have either of y'all, have you flown a girl out or have you been flown out ever before? We, I've never flown anybody out. We haven't. We know people who fly to places. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like we're, I feel like we're kind of headed down that direction. I feel <laughs> oh, like to fly to fly. I mean, I don't know yeah. if we would necessarily need to fly them, but I mean, I feel like house visits. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So we, so, we might be so headed it's in that a direction. Possibility. So yeah. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and let you guys know. Basically, what happened this past week and what everyone's been talking about is this Instagram model. Um, I don't know if she's an Instagram model. She just looks like a regular girl. Yeah. She's probably They're, just regular. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not gonna say her name. Um. I don't even know how to pronounce it in real life. But basically, um, she called out Future for leaving her stranded in California after she refused to have sex with him and says that he never reimbursed her for her flight. So long story short, she basically met Future in the studio. Right. Um, they exchanged numbers. They hung out in Miami. And I guess he wanted to see her and fly her to California. Right. Sure. So he didn't give her no money. Nope. She, he, but he said he would reimburse her right. for her flight. He paid for the hotel. He he did pay for the hotel for right. one night. Yeah. For one night. <laughs> yeah. And then that whole got kicked out. But um, basically, she bought her own flight, which, again, we're going to go over the flyout rules real Huge quick. Huge mistake. Because it's just like, sis, I get you trying to be independent, but my sis yeah <laughs> what are you doing he is a millionaire there's no reason why you should have came out of your pocket like venmo cash app all these yeah apps exist and everything with, 
everything. So she bought her own flight, which was $550. Apparently, he said he would pay her back 1,000%. Now, I'm an accountant. I ain't going to lie. I didn't do the math. She said it came up to 5500 I don't know. All I know is, if you're expecting it to get 5500 bitch, you're popping that pussy right. on arrival. <laughs> Definitely. I don't know why she thought that he would just be giving her $5,500 just I want to know what these messes it, messages were beforehand. Like, okay. Right, uh, well, right, actually, right. let me go ahead and read those because I actually do have them pulled up. So... She went on a rant. I'm not going to read the rant, but I'll read the text messages. So, and I don't really even know. Here we go. I'll, I'll start from the beginning. Um, so, he said he's out west. This is future. Out west. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> She's Austin. <laughs> How long are you in Cali? So, she double texted him. I don't believe in the double text. You said you're in Austin. Bitch, wait till he responds. <laughs> so, she said, How long are you in Cali? He said, when you get here. She said, book my flight. He said, you book it when you get here. I will give you your cash back a thousand percent. So okay. I don't I don't know if the thousand percent meant t- multiply the price of your ticket by a thousand percent or I got you a thousand percent. Right, right. He was just like, bet. Like, bet. I to got me, you. Yeah. I, to yeah. me, it was more of a bet. Like, yeah. I got cool. you. I right. got you. Right. So she said, OK, when do I need to come? He said, when you won't. So she said Saturday to Monday, goes forward, goes forward. She gets there, um, says she's at the hotel. I'm I'm definitely giving you the breakdown. Basically, he asks her to be ready for him with lingerie on. Right. She says, I'm not that type of girl. I thought we were going to chill. He said, oh, you playing. I'm good. <laughs> and was exactly. ba- and basically she said so I won't see you at all and his response was I'm good love enjoy the next morning <laughs> sounds like a trap listen the next morning she goes to get food comes the fuck back and bitch her key stopped working so he booked the room for one night which to me makes sense I feel like if you would have busted your pussy wide open you would have got another night probably Um, and I also feel like sis these these, these guys are not flying girls, girls out, out to chill too right. too chill, too chill. Right. Um. So real quick, I'm gonna go down some of the flyout rules. Um. For y'all, real quick, just so y'all know. Especially, we're gonna talk about maybe the flyout rules for the first time after you've dealt with a nigga for a couple times. You you can you can gauge what type of nigga he is. <laughs> you can gauge what type of nigga he is. Um. So. If you guys haven't, again, I do have a book out. Hit me up. I'll send you the PDF. I ain't even selling that whole no more, but I'll send it to you. Um. It is an ebook. And I give you all these rules and all these stories about dealing with athletes and being flown out. Um, it's called Up on Game. So I'm about to put some of you hoes up on game if you're looking to get flown out. If you're getting flown out for the first time. And feel free, if y'all think, to add any more rules, let me know. Um, I have said, A, do not do a one-way. Don't let a nigga fly you out on a one-way. Because if things do go south, you suck. you suck like Chuck and he ain't got to yeah. put you back on a flight. And... Don't do that to yourself. Right. Make sure it's a round trip flight if this is someone that you're meeting for the first time. Also, um, again, I reiterate this every single episode. Communication. Definitely. If you don't want to fuck this nigga, if you don't want to give him no coochie, if you don't want if, if there's something that you don't want or you don't feel comfortable going, explain that to him. You Ask him expectations. I was just about what are your expectations when I come here? Because he's putting money out. Right. If he's booking your flight, he's probably also going to either put you in a hotel or you're staying with him. He's also probably going to pay for the food while you're there. The entertainment value is there as well. So this is kind of an investment for him. So you want to make sure that y'all are on the same page. Like, nigga, do you want your dick sucked from the back? Like, am I, <laughs> like, what, what are you going to want from me? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So definitely communicate with what the expectations are. Because a lot of times a nigga may straight up say, you know what it is. Like, you know what I want. And then that's up to you. If you don't feel comfortable going, just don't go. Yeah. Plain and simple. Do not go. Um, What other fly out rules did I say? I'm just saying, like, what girl thinks a man hits you up to come over and cuddle or, like, Sis. hang out? <laughs> let's hold hands and walk down the street. Right. What and did you think this when, was? Especially when the communication is minimal. He's not trying to get to know you. He, he didn't does... give her not one long, like, text. Nothing. Not like, one long text. It was just, like, one word, text. two words. Yeah. He didn't give, like... There was nothing there. There was nothing, nothing there. So, again, ladies, if you're going to get flown out, if you want money, I would um, definitely voice that prior um, to getting on the flight. If it is sex that he wants, um, definitely say what you want in return because 
y'all niggas think dick is a benefit and <laughs> it's a little it's out here and you may show up and it's not all that girl and then be mad another thing that i did put in my book as well for <laughs> for my ladies who is working but you know getting the fly out offers do not call off of work to hop on a flight for some dick if you are going to miss work, you tell that nigga you cannot afford to miss work. And the only way you would get on the flight is if he covers what you would be missing at work. Um, this was lit as fuck as a bartender because I doubled what I would make every <laughs> night. I work Friday nights and that's my most, you know, that's my most pop at night. I, 500 at least. Like I'm missing out. Um, that's also easier if you're working in the hospitality industry. You could switch shifts you necessarily don't have to miss out on money um if you work a nine to five and you want to be a hoe that goddamn bad do not miss out on your goddamn money makes sense just don't do it um and so these are just some of the rules i think i think she was completely wrong i think she looked stupid for posting her goddamn business yeah i don't know what y'all think about that definitely went the wrong like she definitely wasn't expecting that reaction she was trying to set a trap and it just completely What are you doing? Backfired. Not only that, women as independent women, it's okay to allow these niggas who have more than you to spend on you. So I feel like a lot of women just want to come off like I got my own money, which clearly she did because she said I book my flights all the time. Girl. But, I mean, even coming to Future's defense, like, I feel like Future's probably offered to fly girls out, pay for the ticket, and then, like, they never show up or whatever. So he's kind of like, eh. Mm. I don't really know if I'm really trying to make that investment if you're not going to make that investment. Mm, so he probably wanted I her to make that investment that first. Way. He wanted her to make that investment first to see if she was and actually And I wish really a nigga would. Come. I'm not making no investment first. You want my <laughs> pussy. You exactly. want me to come to you. At the end of the day. I don't give a fuck if you think I'm a gold digger. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, the man has to put up the money first, period. Point right. blank. One thousand percent. So we're going to go ahead. I'm excited. Um, we have a lot of things that I want to touch on this episode. Um, so we're going to get into the kink of the week. If you guys came to the Atlanta live show, I gave you guys quite a bit of words because I'm going to fuck it up right now. <laughs> and I, I'm going to make y'all two try to say these words, too, because I need them to know, although I be fucking up words, <laughs> it don't be my fault. Like I'm sure it's intense. The words I say, I feel like, okay, <laughs> libido maybe ain't a word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it sound like whatever. Um, so for the kink of the week this week, I'm super excited. It's two words that both mean the same thing. So I'm going to pass the phone for you guys to say these words as well. Um, Gynandromorphophilia and (laughs) gynemenemotophilia. That's my guess. I don't know. You you, you try. (laughs) Gynandromorphophilia. Jamorphophilia, okay. kind of, yeah. I, that second one, yeah, that second one, no, no, no. Now you gotta it's try. Yeah. No, it's now you gotta heard. try. You, you have heard it, but you looking at it now. Yeah, those are long words. Gyna dromorphophilia, <laughs> kind of. I mean, yeah. And the second one, gyna mean tomophilia. I don't know. <laughs> I think you missed a whole lot of letters in that yeah. second one. There's a whole lot of letters in that second one. So, um. I'll go ahead and let you guys know. This is the sexual attraction to transsexual or trans women. Um, romantic or sexual attraction to transgender people can be towards trans men, trans women, non-binary people, or a combination of these. This attraction can be a person's occasional or exclusive interest. Like transgender people, individuals attracted to transgender people may identify as heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual, pansexual, <laughs> Or with none of these categories, they may identify as transgender or cisgender themselves. Um, whew, I'm going to try that not to. Lot. Yes, yeah. that was a whole lot. Um, and so I specifically picked this kink because Gabe. Yeah. Um, he let me know that he actually does have an attraction to um, femininity. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the things that we kind of figured out. Or I guess I kind of figured out through this through this process, I guess, this journey. It's just that I've realized that I'm just attracted to femininity in like any form. Oh, so like okay. we've 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 played with a cross dresser before, which was like actually We kinda, had a cross dresser on. How was that? That, that was, was kinda dope. Th- yeah, it was, was really very dope. interesting. That was kinda dope. Could you could you explain a little bit about how that went? Oh, with the with the cross dresser. Oh, yes. I thought you meant about the, well, the episode. No, we gonna get into oh, okay, it. We're gonna yeah. get into it. Well, well, we had yeah. we had communicated online at first. She came over. Well, he came over, you know, was like, can I use your bathroom for a little bit? And then he wanted me to help her get dolled up. Right. So I was like, hey, like, I, you know, we I went, when we were talking 
online, we were like, hey, well, you know, I love makeup. You know, I'm in here with a full face. Yes, like, I'm you into are. It. You, you so, fly. So I was like, hey, I'll help you with your makeup. Like, we'll, we'll get you looking all pretty for when he comes over. So, yeah, he came, once once Gabe got there, we were like, all right, it's it's yeah, on and like, popping. What are we, what we doing was, today? It was fun. Yeah. We, like, did, so we had a cross-dresser on the show, and he identified as a straight male. Right. Um, did this cross-dresser play with you both? Was and how did you guys come to the discussion as to what you guys would do yeah, so, with the so, cross dresser? So she kind of wanted she wanted to be with a couple. Okay. She didn't want to be with like just a guy or whatever. Like she wanted to be with a couple. Like she wanted that experience of of like getting the makeup done and all that stuff. Like she already had lingerie and heels, all that stuff. I think she had heels. Maybe yeah, I'm just making heels. that up. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just she, she had, had heels. heels. Like so, she like clearly has been doing this. You know what I mean like you've been doing this for a while? But I think we were her first couple, yeah. so that was like the first time. So it was a new experience for all of us. But she played she wanted with to both submit, of us. She wanted to submit to a couple. Right. That is right. Amazing. Like it's 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 different. It's something that I'm not gonna lie. I haven't considered being with a cross dresser. Um, but. With this definition and what we've discussed as right. well is you're now leaning towards possibly trying trans. Oh, definitely. I yes. mean, that, that to me, we've, that was that yeah. was like the first thing. Like the cross dresser wasn't like even first. A, a topic. Well, like, I mean, it the, yeah, the cross dresser wasn't first. It was something that like we found. And I was like, yo, this actually might be kind of dope. But then like I feel like I've been in the trans women probably for a while. OK. Um, But like it hasn't been something that we've actually been able to experience together. That's actually been something that I was. Well, We'll get there, but like I feel like it's something that we started out thinking that we would want to do together, and it's something that like now I'm like pursuing on my own. Um, and so yeah, like it's kind of it's, it's been no, a, it's, it's been a journey, it, and and I do want to let you guys know too because this is not going to be on video because Gabe and Ashley do want to remain anonymous, but I want to let you know Gabe is a black male, yeah, very strong looking, six two, yes, very, very <laughs> and Ashley is. I, I'm going to guess Latino, but, you know, I don't like people calling me Spanish either, and I'm black. Yeah, Latina You're, works Latina, for me. Latina, I guess. So um, I guess it was exciting to me that Gabe opened up and told me this, and I'm going to be a little open, and y'all never really see me emotional. This is emotional. I was talking to Ashley um, prior to the show. I have a very good friend of mine who recently opened up to me about his journey um, and his mental health state currently. Um, it, not being able to accept that he's into transgenders, um, possibly men, and he's he's possibly identifying himself as bisexual. Um, he did grow up in the church, and so right now his mental health is not in a good state because he can't accept what he likes. He can't accept because he can't change it. He's concerned with dating He's concerned with what his parents will think of him. And unfortunately, he feels like he's not normal. Um, with this show, we talk about these things a lot. And I told him, I'm like, I'm a female. I'm in like, if, right. if that's something you would be into, I'm a female who's telling you that I would accept my partner if he told me this. Um, and he's just like, but listen, I, I don't accept myself. Mm. Um, I think a lot of people, specifically in the minority communities, we don't have these conversations. So when you like something outside of monogamy or you like something outside of the opposite sex, you don't know how to even talk about it. Like, yeah. yeah. And so I want to talk to you and I'm so glad I just did that y'all with no tears because prior to recording this, I was literally like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this. Um, it was very emotional for me. Um, so I want to ask you, huh? As a black male, right. <laughs> how did you come to terms with yourself that this was something that you were into? I mean, I think I've had the privilege in, I mean, a lot of different ways. Like, Ashley and I talk about it a lot. Like, I'm, at the end of the day, a 6'2 black man. So, like, at the end of the day, like, nobody's running up on me for how I feel about anything. Um, True. I think also, too, I think in the grand scheme of things, like, the way I look at everything, which is kind of why we're here now and, like, swinging is because like at the end of the day like i look at this all as a human experience like you right. feel how you feel for a reason you know and i think that at the end of the day it's like especially as black men especially this day and age like there are too many things acting at like actively acting against us that like if you like something go and do it and i think the i think the hardest part is what you would assume would be the judgment from people who look like you but at the mm -hmm. end of the day nine times out of ten 
those other people into some crazy shit too. Right. Like I think that's one of the things I've learned from the swing world is like everybody's into something and there's a lot of stuff that people don't want to say that they're into or don't want to talk about. And I think when it comes to the trans community, I think this is something that I've, you know, a, a community that I've grown to love. And I think, you know, as a creative, it's been something that like I try not to delve too deep into as, as, as to not want to like appropriate that culture but i think like at the end of the day all of culture comes from the like the gay communities from yeah. people of color yeah you know what i mean and i think like that whole ballroom scene when i when ashley like Every, told me about it like, everything. Dope. like everything. i mean like that whole everything. that whole scene is dope. what do you identify as straight you do identify yeah. as straight um so you identify as straight you said you've known for a long time that you were into transgenders yeah how did you communicate that to Ashley or any other previous partner that you've had where you're like, this is what I'm into. I'm comfortable with myself. Now I have to tell my partner I'm into this. Right. So, I mean, I think it, it will. I mean, I, Ashley's actually the first person that like we've even gotten this far that like even knows that that's something I've like been into. So it's something you've uh, kept to yourself. Yeah. Okay. I mean, cause it's kind of been like, cause to me, it's like all of that is kind of like a private it journey is. to a certain degree. You know yes. what I mean? Um, but I honestly, like, I think it, it started out really just like on those episodes of like Jerry Springer or like Mari. <laughs> and they would like, it would be like the Halloween episode and they'd be like, oh, is it a man? Like, is it a, a right. man or right. woman? Like, things like that. And, I remember, and I remember and seeing some of them that. Like, look good. Exactly. And I'm just like, wait a minute. Like, you know what I mean? It's so, like, I automatically started thinking, and this is probably like, 10, oh, 11, yeah, we, 12, young. you know what I mean? Like, start to seeing it. 28. Okay. So, like, so seeing that, it was just kind of like, that's where it started. And, like, to me, Ashley came out to me as by, uh, uh, like, pretty early on in our relationship. So, to me, it was all, it was more so me being open and, like, with her mm -hmm. that, like, was being like, look, like, I get it. Like, you go do your thing. But we didn't actually start talking about, like, what I was into until, a little further we in. We were like, into the swinging lifestyle before we got into really delving deep into how, how he's into femininity. Right. Because it's very much so like sometimes I can be a little more tomboyish and I like to wear my rocker t-shirts and things like that. But he's like, oh, like you, I like it when you have pink and red toes. <laughs> like I, I'll be like, oh, I'm doing black or like blue and not something. Chill. He's like, and she's yeah. like, oh, yeah, I no. see you with the black nails now and he hates it. I no, know I he's mean, like, I'm not too much into the hands. That don't, okay, I don't really care. Okay. The, to the, we toes yeah. Matter yeah. More. the toes matter more. So this is kind of a double question that I want to yeah. do between um, the two of you, because a lot of people assume that if you are into transgenders, you would also take dick or would also deal with dick. Is that, so this is again going to go for you because so Gabe, I'm going to ask you and then I'm, I'm going to ask you and then you guys answer. So Gabe, have you been or do you seek sex with a male? And for you, Ashley, are you scared that allowing him to have these experiences with transgenders that he may possibly like men just because i know that a lot of people put the two together a dick is right, a dick right. you know what i mean so what are y'all's yeah, thoughts stand of that on it? yeah i definitely i definitely see the connection um but to me like my logic is like i'm gonna identify you however you identify yourself so trans mm. women identify, identify as, as women. women like you're still yep. a woman and in my eyes i'm gonna treat you as a woman, a woman. um i think where where it kind of crosses the line a little bit is like i try to make sure that I'm not over sexualizing a trans woman just because she's trans she has a, and because she has a penis. You're well, still I mean, looking well, yeah. at her more like, as, like, as, as a woman, woman. right? right. Yeah, like, depending to me, like, on where she's at, right? Okay, okay. I mean, but you, yeah. you deal with trans women who have boobs and dress as women and who, and who identify as women. They just still have a penis, or right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so but but you're not sexualizing them for having a penis. It's not like you're looking no, 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 for them no. as a gateway. No. And so you're, that's probably why you're not concerned with him because there are feminine men as well that are straight, you know, that right, right, right. are just gay males. Um, that are just feminine. That yeah. are super right, feminine. Right, right, right. So is that something that you would find an attraction to or would you be scared that he would be interested in feminine men? I mean, I don't think that I'm scared of what he likes Okay, in general. I, li I like that answer. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm not scared that he's going to, you know, he's just out here looking for some dick and like, this is this is the way, this is as close as he's going to get, like, this is as close as I'm going to let him get. Um, That's not so much a concern for me. I think the, there, I mean, there's no concern. I'm more, it's more interesting to me. I feel like it's intriguing because, right. you know, I've had to suppress my own desires before. So right. the ability to be open and free in a space where there's no judgment and 
don't get me wrong, the swing lifestyle has its issues. It does. Right. It right? does indeed. And we're going to so definitely talk, yeah, yeah. touch on that. So, you know, for the most part, it's more so of, of the experience being in the moment. And, you know, we that's something we learned along along the lines in this process is through these experiences we saw I there were things that maybe I was a little uncomfortable with like that cross dresser situation at first yeah. I didn't know how it was gonna feel uh-huh but she brought a strap on with her oh and it was and I was I had never tried one on before oh. so it allowed me to explore too and and that's something that I wouldn't have really no, like been able to to explore or see if that's something that I liked right. had we not even been open to to doing it yeah and you know she she walks well, around as a man. Well, every day. I, I really right. kind of want um, to delve right back into that real quick. <laughs> yeah. so, the the strap on, y- who use it on who, and what what right. the hell happened? Because right, right. I'm like, wait, okay, I know there's two dicks in this scenario, and he, she brought a strap on. I'm sorry, she brought a strap on. So you use the strap on on, on her. her. Exciting. So does that that's considered pegging still? Because there was I, maybe because it's I a guess. guy, but I don't it's know. a girl. That's technically, yeah. technically you pegged him yeah. but while she sure. was a her I'm, i mean but we've, we've been like we've been with other people but like that's the first time that we've both been like actually like fucking somebody at the same time that yeah so you were I, I mean, fucking I mean, the I mean, mouth I mean, while yeah, you yeah, yeah exactly yeah Ex- so you so we think that her. is dope right, right right okay that sounds fun i'm not even gonna lie. Right. i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> so that's the first time so, yeah. and, and then i have one last question for for you um because being a woman who would also accept a man who may be into the things that you're into, <laughs> I have kind of an inside thing at who to share this with. Do your Definitely. are your friends aware of the things that you do in the bedroom and what your partner's into? Because I'll be honest with you, as someone who's single, me and all my friends, we talk about every dick we get. Of I send dick pictures. I be like, girl, he fucked the shit out of me, girl. And we we openly talk about our yeah. sex appeals. I talk about, we I talk about when I lick day. ass. I talk about when I sit on face. And we giving all, each other tips and tricks, all of that. And so, as women, we're open with telling our friends when we get the the shit fucked out of us. Of course, but I know that. Not all of my friends are as open and sexually fluid as I am. Right. So Definitely. to bring up me pegging, oh my god, some of the the ways and I and I talked about it at the live show. I got a I had a guy that sent me a video where he fucked himself with his wave brush. He put a condom okay on the tip of his wooden wave brush, right, and was penetrating himself with it. And to me, I was like, "Ooh, this that's sexy!" Crazy. And my friends were I like, mean, not crazy, "Girl, like, that's you like... dealing with a nigga who fucking himself <laughs> yeah. with a wave brush?" And I was like, "I mean." I told him to do it and I was sick of seeing him stick fingers and he clearly didn't have a dildo. So he got creative. Um, And so when it comes to if I were to be in a relationship with a man who I know I allow Mm -hmm. to either fuck other men or maybe he is into transgenders. I don't know which friends I could share this with. So how do you go about explaining this to your friends or do you? Well, for the most part, the people who who do know about our sw- our swinger lifestyle are definitely, you know, the people closest to me. Mm-hmm. Um, the people who I'm actually out to because I'm not out to my family or other people. Okay. In general. I'm okay. Not, you know, I yeah. there's subtleties, you know. You see on <laughs> yeah. my social media and other things, it's like, okay, she retweeted okay, she that. Okay, she a freak. She a freak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they know you a freak. Yeah. But, okay. but, you know, and I don't think no one be, would be surprised because I'd be at the strip, we'd be at the strip club. Yeah and stuff like that but the people that do know about our swinger lifestyle as far as getting into the nitty gritty details of every experience yeah i don't think we really share share that they're most they're more so just intrigued by how does this work Mm. yeah and they're more so like how do you find these people like where do you meet up what was it like were they cool they're like don't be asking all my questions (laughs) oh yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the horrible decision so you know what let's go ahead and steer away from the kink of the week so if you guys have not noticed by the fuck now um our (laughs) our horrible decision for this week is swinging um swinger lifestyle um and bringing other people into the bedroom and all of that shit. We talk about non-monogamy on here a lot. Um, I've mentioned that this is the type of relationship that I would be interested in having because I would want to partake in things with my partner um, instead of me just knowing he out here fucking who the fuck knows right. who. <laughs> um, and I don't want him to build a an emotional 
connection with another woman. Right. Um, and so if you guys have listened to quite a few of the episodes, um, on the other hand, when Weezy discusses an open relationship, she would be okay with her partner um, going on dates with other women and being with another woman outside of her. And to me, that just leaves a whole fucking can of worms to be open. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's confusing. It's very much confusing. <laughs> um, not to not to shame if yeah, you're yeah. into that. But, you know, so I wanted to discuss the swinger lifestyle. Um, I guess let's let's let me pull up a question. <laughs> so how did you guys introduce swinging into the relationship? So here's how this got started. So what he happened said, this was, is how it started. <laughs> so Let me tell you. So what happened was I so a lot of this all came from Craigslist, first of all. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so you guys are already together. Yeah, yes. so we've been together you're browsing, probably like a year and a half. You're browsing Craigslist. Yeah, I mean, but I think I was doing that before her. He, on too. his own. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, so I was like, but I would just like hit up couples on Craigslist. And just join to, like, in on, with couples. No, but I never did anything. Like, I would just email them. Like, oh, I would you just. You wanted them, you wasted yeah, time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But the thing is that it's also tough as a single male, regardless. Which, no, like, for sure. of course, we definitely know now, like, wherever. You're, so it was like, so yeah. I would definitely, like, just, like, get off on the idea of, like, the fact that there are people that are this open that could ah. do this. So, like, that in itself was dope enough for me. So then we get to some point, I don't even remember, my, her laptop breaks. So I let her, I give her. <laughs> I give her my you already laptop. Know she said, let me scroll going. through these cookies. Her, her let me see what he breaks. into. Yeah, her laptop breaks. I let her, I give her my laptop to get her stuff done. He trusted me so much. <laughs> I was like, here, like, take it. And then, so she was like, well, what's this? Like, you know, you hitting up calls, okay. whatever. And I was, So pause, because now you're going to say, so before you came to him and said, <laughs> what's this? What did you find? So I saw him in his sent box. <laughs> his oh, Gmail. oh, she was looking. <laughs> she went through the email Apparently. and went through yeah. all that way. Yeah. You went through the sent inbox. I did. I did. Girl. Oh, you I had. Uh, a, I had the laptop for a week. <laughs> I had the laptop for a whole week. Oh, she was reading. Apparently, she was reading. And so, what did you see in the sent? You know, inbox? I didn't say nothing day one. I was. I just had to kind of like, girl, because you had a lot more like, messages to read. I'm sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was just. I was just like. Okay, something something's going on. Right. Let me not freak out because it's also not like it's different. It's not like right. Oh, hey, like hey, we meeting up at this time. Like, what you doing? One of my coworkers, friends, something like that. Not at all. Like, it was very all specific. It was all the same thing. Looking yeah. for couples. Yeah. Okay. So That's I was true. like, hmm. Hmm? I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I went up to him and I was like, so we need to talk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, but how she brought it up though wasn't like argumentative or like accusatory. I wasn't it was kind of like, well, what I is it? That. Yeah, she was just kind of like, well, what confused. is this? What's going on? I right. was in, I was intrigued. I was confused. I was hurt, not because I felt betrayed, but because I felt like I didn't let him be open with me. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. But it's it's funny that you even bring that up because I don't think that men who keep these secrets realize that it's a sense of so does he not feel comfortable with me did i not make him feel comfortable enough with me yeah like that he can't be himself right and i think that as women especially now that when i speak to a man i want him to be open with me and i don't think men understand the amount like we know the amount of trust you have to have in us to open up about things that you may like that you right. know is not of the norm and it turns me on so much when a man lets me know that this is the type of porn I watch and I don't tell anyone else this. You're the first person I've let known this. <laughs> this is what, I, like, yeah. that shit right. is sexy. I mean, I think, I think as men, it's, it's, well, I mean, I think it's tough to be vulnerable in general, but I think we also are kind of scared of, like, what your reaction is going to be. Because I think it's not even the fact that we're into mm. something different. It's more the fact that, like, sometimes it's going to come to like, oh, well, you're just interested in another woman or you want to use this as an excuse to fuck another woman. And it's like, no, not really. Like, it's a little it, bit deeper than that. It depends. Okay. Yeah. It okay. depends so, on your partner. So you came to him and was like, what is this? And what, Gabe, what was your response? And how were you just like, listen, girl, this is what I want. I, no, I mean, it was, I don't even, like, I was just like, look, this is just something I'm into. Like, that was it. Like, and it kind of like just ended there okay. until I think it came, it came up again, like a couple months or so, or so later. And it was, and then she was like, all right, clearly this is something that you're into. Like, this isn't going away. So it's like, we, sh and then that's when we got to the point where she was like, all right, like, let's just try it out. Okay. So you're at the point where you, you know what he's now into. Yeah. You're accepting of what he's into. 
and you're like, listen, I'll do this with you. Well, what? No, I, I wouldn't say. Look, she I'll said, do wait. This. Okay, yeah. I okay. was say, I was I was willing to explore possibilities. Okay, and like learn. And, and try so it out. you so yeah. you were a little hesitant. So what were the guidelines? Like you didn't want to break up with him because this is what he liked. So when you were like, okay, this is what you're into. You clearly keep looking it up. This is what you want to explore, and I don't want to keep you from that. What were the guidelines that were set as far as okay? This is how we're going to go about doing this. I don't think it really happened until we, we were, got further in. That, yeah, until we got <laughs> yeah. because it. I feel like a lot of it you learn as you go because right. you haven't experienced it yet. Very true. And you're going to experience things that you're like, I didn't know I was going to like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So it clearly didn't go away. We were out at some event downtown, and he says, "Look, so." One of the couples that I hit up back in the day, the dude is telling me that they're going to Caligula tonight. Oh, my God. Yeah. I went. Did you guys hear that I went? Yeah. To that? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so again, there. real quick, yeah. if y'all don't know, <laughs> and mind you, I'm sitting across a black male and a Latina. <laughs> yeah. So I want y'all to know if you are in the New York City area, I went to Caligula for Halloween which right. was my ex- first experience in a sex club. Mm-hmm. And there was a ton of couples in there. So going as a single female, oh my God, they loved me and all my friend. Over they you. were all over us because it, it was a lot of couples. Right. Um, me. And then of course they also had the single men that were allowed that night. It was a, mm. it was Halloween, which yeah, normally okay. single Definitely men, y'all know not. we're not. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, they were lined up in the hallway because you know they couldn't go to the couple's room. In right, the back, right, they, right, there's right. only one room they're allowed to go in. Right. And listen, I was trying to deal with couples because I really wanted to explore with right. more with women. I, I realized after a whole bottle of Don Julio was done, <laughs> I really didn't want dick. I just wanted to yeah. engage with sure. couples, but more so be the treat. Yeah. Um. So you guys went to Caligula. Yeah. The well, couple well, so, was there. Well, yeah. So what happened was like, honestly, I think it was and I don't think we had guidelines at the beginning because it was like, we're going to experience this together. Like this was new to me. I had never done anything. Right. So this is like new to me. This is new to her. Like we're experiencing this together. So luckily, like I called the, that dude. Like he's like the like he was like my Yoda of like <laughs> swinging. Like he, he, <laughs> like he was Yoda's age too. Yeah. Oh, he was, her, it, the, wait, how old was he? He was the older white dude. Like he had to been a solid Sixty? No. Yeah. yeah like... But he had a but he had a, a Latina uh woman. I don't I wouldn't say it was his wife, but like a Latina woman. Okay. Partner. Too. But he mm, a partner, 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 partner. And wonder he, how much she's getting. But paid. he was just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but he was he was just like, look, like just come by. He was like, we, you don't have to do anything with us. He was like, we'll just kind of show you the ropes. Like he literally like And you was, get a discount with if you get come in with someone with that's, another couple. That's, yes, right? Yes, oh, already, yes, uh, it's yeah. cheaper than yeah. right, yes, just yes, doing yes. our own. So he went and like he so we went, we met them there, and I told my friend, I was like, look, this is where we going. And something happened, and if we I don't, don't, yeah, if I don't yeah, show this, up, this, this is the last we, place we, we were, were at. at. Yeah, yes. So, so I told him. So we get there, and like the guy literally, like, so we actually split up. So like he takes, so I go with him. She stayed with her, with and the- like he just like showed me around. He's like, look, this is how it works. He's like, these are the rules. Like consent is the most important thing. Like you got to be respectful. He was like, look, like these are the, you know, these are the rooms. He took me upstairs, showed me like where everything was at. He's like, you can smoke over here. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Like he really yep. just showed I mean, me the ropes. And you know, you know, it's in, it's in my, it's in my head how it's all. Up. So I do want to ask you because we had Daniel Saint on who right. does um, yeah. the NSFW. Right. So I wanted to ask you guys because he said that at NSFW they don't like um, the patrons to be under the influence okay. or drunk. Was that something that you guys went in there like, oh my God, to let this happen, I need to be under the influence, I need to drink Definitely a bottle? Not. No. So you guys went in there sober? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. No, we definitely Clearly that wasn't mind. mine. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, I was like, girl, I want to fuck. I'm finna drink this Don Julio. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys had a clear mind. Yeah. He show he gave you the tour because he had clearly been there before. Yeah. And so yeah. how did the engagement start to happen? What happened? I mean, so he told us at the beginning, he was like, Look, like this is very woman dominated. So mm-hmm. he was like, Look, like the women are the ones that engage with each other, which was weird, like was weird to me because I was like I'm the one that's like really into this, and now I got my, my I gotta dick play. is hard, right? What but am I doing with my hard I got to play the back seat for her. Like this, is like this is my fantasy, but I can't do anything. Okay. So that was what was kind of frustrating to me. Okay, and, and he, I mean, and he comes into this having like you know read articles, <laughs> watched the porn, right. did research, research. Research. he did his research. So, and I'm I'm coming in, and I I thought of swing when I thought swinger lifestyle, I thought of like my gay male friends, right? Because they all in open relationships yes. and stuff. So, and they be getting together at house parties, and I never really thought about it in a like heterosexual or a male female couple f- form. Okay, I just so, didn't think of it. So, that way. with the swinging, you guys are doing more of the couple swapping. Oh, essentially. definitely. At this point, we've we've had more couples than threesomes. Oh, definitely. I think we've had okay. like two threesomes. Do you three. guys do you guys find it easier to connect with other couples more so than just bringing 
just a female into the bedroom or yeah. just a definitely yeah yeah it's easier and i don't even know why because some other couples like have more success, success with single females and and none with co- other couples which is like i don't like i don't know oh. I don't, yeah, yeah i don't get it okay so but, but so we're at caligula um I'm getting the idea that I'm basically going to have to, like, kind of lead the charge. Okay. With, like, trying to talk to people. And we were just kind of like, oh, like, what do you think of that? That's I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, like, what about him, her, I guess? Cool. Like, let's talk. And it's kind of, like, awkward because I- I'm I'm in a For position a first that, time it is. And I had no expectations, right? I had no idea what I was getting into. I did not know what to expect. And she was just like, oh, yeah, well, I'm down, like to play with you and like just have my man watch and I was like well okay well can my man touch you or she was like no like not they wouldn't do anything it'd just be ah. us playing and he was like you just spent an hour talking to her and like <laughs> this is going. I'm over there this my legs shaking I'm like yo bro let's, Yo let's what is keep this shit we gotta let's, find let's someone else moving. let's find gotta, someone else but it's hard because you're like trying to make a connection and like, right. and we're just and it looked it looked like she was kind of new too so I was like okay. it yeah. was it was different it was difficult yeah. at first so we were like okay this like meeting other people it's not gonna happen tonight and yeah. we're like it's getting late and, you know, they have that playroom that's completely open. They do? So, I was in there. So, you know, we got, we were like, well, you know, we, we were turned well on something. just by, yeah. we were, we're, let's do of something. Course. Other people were doing things. Well, let's just hop on. Let's grab this little corner. And, you know, I started going down on him. I, my top came off. My bottoms came off. He started going down on me. And, like, we were just there, you know. Yo, enjoying also, each other also, enjoying each other in front of anybody other people. that goes tip for a swing club anybody that goes don't wear jeans that yeah. shit is the worst like if you're so, trying to so, move so from so one room man, to another as a man what do you suggest to wear because I, they can't get in in basketball shorts either can they i mean can, can you no get in no but i mean like you you i would say wear some kind of shorts and i'll tell you ladies <laughs> of course i have a halloween costume on onesies don't do it either yeah jesus so hard oh I, my god i was like what am i doing like wear a dress so you could just look yeah. it up because I had a onesie on and I was like this is too much because you move from like room to room and it's hard to yeah. like you Pick stop and I, I gotta put my yeah, shit yeah, back on it's, every it's a single lot. time yeah, okay so so for a man you said no jeans no jeans but- don't do jeans. Wait, I mean, it's just tough. What else do men wear? I don't know. That's why when you <laughs> asked, I was like, You're like, this you shit wearing? is bo- Okay, so it's yeah. going to be difficult for you as, as guys. So how many couples since then, that was your first experience at Caligula, um, you've eventually started dealing with right, couples. Right, About how many couples would you say you guys have played with? 16. Oh, yes, number. Yeah, no, yes, we, have, yeah. we have them all yeah. written down. Yes, ri- written down. Yeah. So now we're talking about couple swapping yeah this of course is involved with the swinging lifestyle now this is one of the questions that i think is always asked as a man yeah do you let ashley engage with the other man yes what is going through your mind do you feel insecure has insecurity came about do you feel jealous and at what point did you say my i'm i'm gonna allow her to have fun as much as I want to have fun. Um, well, I mean, I want her to have fun from the jump. Okay. One, um, I think two, it's just like she's very good at what she does. So to yes. me, it's like I like I want you to please another <laughs> dick. Ah. Basically, like to me, like <laughs> yeah. the way the way I see it is like she's dope. So like I like to see guys like squirming and shit, trying not to like that sounds finish. Hot. So yeah. to me, it's like yeah, I know she's good. You know oh, what I mean? That's like all so mine. yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. I like, and so as a woman, of course, I want to ask you the same question. Um, are, is this your same response to seeing him with other women? Does it turn you on? Because to me, that's what I've always said is it would turn me on to see my man please someone else, which is, I guess, essentially what you said. Yeah. Um. So have you encountered any tidbits of jealousy or insecurity? Has he been too passionate with another woman before? Has Definitely any of that not. crossed your mind? Definitely not. And I think, uh, like, even one of the, like, talking about passion, he kisses other women, and Ooh. I don't usually kiss other men. Like, that's one of our rules. Like, she doesn't kiss guys. But, like, if I'm really into you in the moment, it's like, okay, like, this is hot, like, you're good looking and everything, like, I'm feeling this. And is that something okay. that you asked of her? Like, can you not be passionate with no, no. That, that was her rule. Like, I was oh. like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Well, me- at least that's something that is safe for you then. Yeah. Because if you're allowing her to engage in I don't want to sound out if you allow her to suck dick because I was about to yeah, say yeah, fellatio yeah. let me not sit <laughs> yeah, here and sound like you know yeah. if you allow her to suck dick and take dick from someone else um, I think it, it is mindful to make sure that there is something that you know is just for you right um, and so I, I don't know that's that's just, it's just I, I just know that that's one of the things a lot of men will be like yeah I'm down we can go but uh, you're not taking no other dick but yeah. you know and it's just like 
this has to be an agreement of some sort if yeah. we're going to go into this lifestyle. And I think that that's why maybe people choose the open relationship route and wanting to bring in girls. Right. But it's like, how are you able to get all this new pussy? And but, sometimes as a woman, we kind of want to feel too. I think the most of the time, women want to feel a it. Lot. Okay, so. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm going to be real with y'all. We can be getting dick down and we could love the shit out of a man. And I think that this is the problem. And, and Andrew, when we were on Brilliant Idiots, he made it seem like, you know, our anatomy is different. We shouldn't be right. able to take nah. multiple dicks and shit. What, what the yeah, fuck yeah, ever yeah. Andrew said. But I think that you guys have to realize there is a way... Um, for females as well to disconnect the emotions from sex. Right. And a lot of us do like just the feeling of sex and coming and orgasming and feeling the the body of a man. Yeah. And so while we may love you, we can still love you and take other dick. And right. I'm glad that you are aware of this. So men listening, yeah. if your <laughs> woman cheat on you, no, let me stop. Yeah, yeah. Let me stop. <laughs> she still loves but, you. But I think I think one of the biggest like misconceptions or like what people automatically think about swinging is that it's automatically about sex. And in all actuality, like to me, it's more about the connection. Like just talking about like how I got started, it was more about being around open-minded people. So right. to me, it's like I have to like you as a person. Like even with the, the other dude, like it's like I still have to like the other dude before we do anything like oh, yeah. we have to like the couple like we're not just gonna walk around just like oh we fucking everybody oh, hey, y'all fit the, <laughs> the requirements with my eyes but you know i need to be able to hold a conversation so, with you Is we end up like talking for like an hour and a half before we even play oh literally I like every time that. yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I was so, so listen when i went to caligula i allowed the guy um one of the guys to pretty he was convinced he could make me squirt which he did i ain't even gonna hold y'all I was lit. <laughs> everybody was watching so he made me squirt and then i'm one of those that once i squirt i be done he he wanted to fuck after and i, I didn't feel like i had to i was yeah. like thanks <laughs> i came okay. all right yeah. so so after a while i went downstairs to get water i'm sitting at the bar talking to another couple so the party promoter of the night which is a woman came up to me and we start talking and we're all just talking about the lifestyle and she's here with her partner and as we're talking she's like yeah so um my husband was the one upstairs with you oh um <laughs> playing with you in the room and i okay. saw and i just i froze i'm not even gonna lie to you like i froze because i didn't know although i'm in this like environment yeah. i was just like oh shit i'll just Letting your husband all up in these guts. And, yeah. and I didn't know even what her kind of response to that was. Everyone right. has different roles. Everyone right. is, you know, they're into different things. There's levels to this. What Definitely. are y'all's rules? And if a couple were to get into this, uh, let's go with rules first and then right. we'll go to that one. So what are y'all's rules with the swinging lifestyle? Well, so I mean the rule, like, so I'm usually the one that does all the vetting. So I'm the one that usually says you all the rules. I don't go have to no, work, huh? I don't have patience for oh. this. She doesn't. She doesn't. And I think that's why it's, it's weird because like the roles switch to a certain degree because like she has to take like in in this like she has to take the more dominant role. But oh, wow. but. The, like, but then it's like she gets fed up dealing with these women, and I'm like, well, welcome to our world. Welcome, so, yeah. welcome yeah. to my yeah. man. I was like, I was like, you know, if you need to include me in this group chat, I need to talk to someone on the phone so they know I exist. I am happy to do so, but in terms of like it, this, these are rules, this is what you like. Yeah. Whole conversations are like you don't logistics. Have patience for that. No, She's not, not at all. It. She's not with it. Not at all. Okay, but, but our rules. I was like, I always tell, I always tell them that I'm in the women's feet. Because, like, some women are just like, eh, yes, I'm not really into it, blah, blah, whatever. And I always tell them that she doesn't kiss guys or do anal. So, like, sometimes – and then I always ask them what their rules are. And sometimes they'll be like, well, if she's not kissing guys, then, like, we just all not kissing at all. And I'm like, all right, that's fine. Like, that's okay. fair. Like, whatever. So you guys feel that you guys – y'all have your rules. Right. And the other couple are going to have their rules. Right. And in order to all play, everyone needs to be on the same page. Oh, definitely. 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 Okay. Okay, definitely. I kind of, I, I can kind of dig that. I can kind of yeah. with this foot fetish though. Like, yeah. what, what exactly? You like foot jobs? You put your toes in pussy and ass it's like? No, that. it's not oh, that okay. extreme. We every, met a guy. You, we met a guy. Feet? No, wait, every, you met a guy. Wait, 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 time here out, we go. Time every time, every time y'all talk about foot really fetishes, right now. <laughs> every time y'all talk about foot fetishes on this on this thing, y'all always be talking about putting your feet. Feel Yo, you putting their feet. We are going that far. No one is. Which is what I was trying to say. G shit. Like, so the guy who I'm fucking, he got soft ass feet, and I just be like. Like and I rub my feet on his feet because I'm like, oh, this is real soft feet. And mind you, for so long I was dealing with athletes and them niggas' feet is terrible. <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible. So I haven't ever really been with a guy with really nice feet. So his feet are really nice, and so I just be. And that goes from me thinking his feet are smooth to apparently Weezy thinking I want toes in my pussy. Yeah, I was like, and how I'm did like, we get there? So yeah, you have a like, that's a big jump. Yeah. Right, that's a like, huge jump. I don't want the toes in my butthole. I don't yeah, want none of that. Like, <laughs> no, like keep the much. toes away from my. 
holes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so with this foot fetish, yeah. what, you just like looking at them? I like looking at, like I literally can get off looking at feet. But I also like shoes oh, in general. Yeah. So like to me, it's like it's all the heels. We have a Dallas oh, Penn 2.0. I buy, 2. Her, I I buy her. I buy her. I mean, his his shit was, <laughs> his shit it was, was a little, it, was, it wasn't, it's not what I'm into, but okay. I can see how you could get there. Okay. I'm not into it. Okay. But, um, he, I, I be scrolling on Instagram and he he already like Lola Shootique's uh, image <laughs> before me. And I'm like, okay. I'm so. the one with the account. <laughs> Dallas, I just want you to know you popping up on liking these shoe accounts. Word. You, you, yeah. you, you, you being spotted out here. No, no, she's talking about me. Oh. I'm the one with oh, the, you. I'm the one buying her yeah. the heels, all that stuff. Yeah. So he's he's on there, but like he's like Cupid shoes, Lola shoe teak, all that. I'm the one with all the accounts. Cut it out. Yeah. Because oh. he he just orders them, so I'm like, oh, these did, didn't fit right. You know Here, what? You maybe could go return maybe them. I need a guy with a foot fetish in because yeah. I would like some new heels. I mean, I, I I try to switch it up. Sometimes it's wedges. I got her some joints that look like Blanche from um from what's that? Golden, Golden Girls. Girls. <laughs> the little slide, the, the little slide on joints. <laughs> the mules word. We we've done a lot of a lot of different styles, but like to me, it's like I like to see how you would like first of all like what color did you pick for your toes one then like what kind of shoe would you wear with that then like oh also my. does that the match with the, like holds that like, the outfit really like what are you, that, I, what are you I knew doing? it i knew it now yeah. i now let me ask you then since you're on here what you think of white toes for the like i like white toes and i think a lot of women like white toes but i don't know the male perspective of i'm white all toes. about white toes yeah i'm all about it all hold about on it. hold on oh, let, me, let me show you look i got white toes Okay. I got my, All right. my toes yeah. is white. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's a summertime color. Um, okay. So. Wait, let's go back to the guy. So the, our the very, our I very need to first know this story. Yes. All right. So this this actually is a good segue. So what happened was <laughs> we went to we went to Caligula that that like Saturday, right? We go to Caligula. We get in the cab. I'm tight. Like I was like, yo, I oh, hated he was it. Mad at so the point. Upset. He, was, he was mad. He was like, he was like, what he thought we were this? gonna. So he went in there thinking it's gonna be orgy, seventy style, <laughs> like some people, old Roman like, type shit, over, like all yeah. over the walls, all over each other, and it's definitely not. It's the club downstairs and then the yeah, playroom yeah, yeah. upstairs. I had no expectations, and I was like. Oh, we fucked in front of everybody? This she was hyped, and I was sitting I was there like... like yeah. I was like, what else can we do? I was like, I'm ready. What, like, what's next? I was I was hyped. And he was he was so salty. So tight. So then I go... So then I go... I was. So then we go to brunch with our friends the next morning. Like, so it's like the next afternoon. And I was like, fuck. Like, I'm sitting there at brunch under the table looking at fucking Craigslist. Like, we're in high school. And I was like... I was looking at this shit. So I was like, I hit up this guy on the thing. It was a couple. Uh-huh. She's like, yeah, let's meet up, whatever. We met with them that same... That next day. So that Sunday. Oh, yeah, I was ready. Y'all we, was in the mood. Yeah. Y'all were like, let's just yeah. keep so, going. So, like, we went out for a drink. We went out for a drink. It was, like, real quick, whatever. But he was like, yo, like, I'm really in the feet. So, of course, I got mad pictures of her feet on my um, phone. So, I was like, look. <laughs> I was like, yo, look at them in these sandals. Look at them in these, in these heels. Like, he was, yo, he was hype. And I was like, bet. All right, cool. We we connect on that level. We so, I'm like, all right, I like feet. him. I was like, I like him. He's yeah. cool. So then we go out for a drink. The other girl was cool. Like, they hit it off. So it was like, all right, cool. So then we we go back to, to her place. And, like, he was, like, just, like, so into her into her feet. And, like, that. But then his girl was getting turned on by him getting turned on. By her feet. Rubbing her feet. So and he just yeah. rubbed your feet. Yeah, because she's she's used to getting her foot rubbed yeah, and everything. Both, so both of y'all seemed like... a little bit too lit. So there's no way that this stops at him rubbing your feet. Oh, no, Definitely it didn't stop not. It. What the hell else happened? I don't think we we didn't full swap. No, we then. didn't. We he didn't went down it. on me. Yeah. She okay. started she going down, down on, me, on you. And then y'all played. Me then and her played her, a yeah. lot. Okay. Yeah, then that was, and he that was it. and he I went I gave him like three strokes with my hand and he was done. Cuz oh. I think that was like their first time. That was our first time. So it was just like The other guy after okay. like all of that like we had been to the club the night before and clearly he's been exploring this and everything. Right. So so I was like he he was like, "Yo, this isn't enough for me." He was ready for the full swap. The other guy was like, "I was giving him well, a he hand." He was finished. Like he's yeah. done. So I like I gave him a hand job like one two three. He was like, "Done." Yeah. That was it. I will say too, I feel like um I'm, I know a guy who's who's this way, and he likes to see his woman uh-huh. with other men because he can't stay up as much mm. and wants to please her and allow her to be pleased. Yeah. Um, do you feel like this, that you guys noticed that? How you said he came fast just off the hand job? Have you noticed maybe one person in these couples not being as sexual as the other? Mm. Mm, no, no, no? Okay. but but I mean, some of these dudes though. I feel like a lot of guys get into to swinging shit, and I've seen it myself. Like, uh-huh. I and we spoke about this last night. It was like, yo, like we had what I would consider probably the the like baddest woman that like we've been with, and I couldn't get up. Uh-huh. And I was like, I literally went to the bathroom and prayed. I was like, God, <laughs> help me like, right we're now. We're here. Oh. We're here right now. Like this is the dream. Like this, this couple was like yeah. the hottest couple yeah. we've been with. Yeah, and probably. you just couldn't. 
I couldn't get it up, but then I did after the prayer. Okay. The prayer works. You did not pray. <laughs> who did, wait, who did you pray to? God. I was like, You Look. did not pray to God yes, for did. your dick to work. Yes, I like, did. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, wait, I did. Wait, clearly he answered, but I don't know if that's yes, a did. prayer that you're supposed to. Look, the, the Lord understands you, my needs. So you went into the bathroom. Can can we go through what you prayed? Like, what was your prayer? <laughs> well, first I of need, all, no, I need to hear this prayer. Did you say, dear Lord, first? Yes, I was like, look, Lord. I was like, look, we're here. I, like, please, just help he me. He knew you just were help here. Me. He told me this one time. <laughs> I, was like, look. I was like, look, like, I, like, I, please, like, let me, please help me get up. No. Please. Please. <laughs> and so, okay, you pleaded for yes, the Lord to help you answered. get up. He, he answered. answered. And I finished. <laughs> And we were good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it was, but the, the point was, is that, like, I feel like a lot of times guys come in there and, like, when you talk about, like, just, like, men being around other men, whatever. And it's, like, sometimes, like, I'm at the point now, we've been with enough, enough couples, we've been around enough women that I'm, like, I know what I can and can't do. And I can look at an ass and be, like, yo, I can't do nothing with that. Whereas while, okay. like, I see other guys, I'm, like, yeah. are you sure that you can actually... You can actually handle that because, like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, because some people think that they can, and it's like, right. Which I I, I say that that all the time when it comes to threesomes. Like, I've had guys that I fucked who could barely handle me. I'm like, nigga, you think I'm gonna have another bitch up in here? You could barely handle all this ass? Nope. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Um, So, out here embarrassing (laughs) me. You not gonna barely handle another bitch. I don't need bitches out here thinking I'm getting mediocre dick, goddamn. I need you to be able to come through. Arm on point. Hello. And I need you to be able to last and take care of both of us i need her to be like who that was some good dick like i need that type of reaction so before we wrap up this which i've loved and i hope that all of you guys have enjoyed this conversation as well for couples because we have a lot of couples who listen to the show yeah Yeah. so for couples what advice would you give to someone who's looking to enter this lifestyle i think you know what when as you asked all these questions about jealousy, and to me, it just made me think the only reason anyone should be jealous is because there's somewhere your trust is incomplete. Yeah. Mm. You have to communicate. And communication this, this yeah. and trust. Communicate. Look, they bringing up communicate. communication for me. Y'all know yeah. we say it every episode. So, yes. so, and to me, it's like the only way you trust people is to have that open communication. When, you, when you're fully confident that your partner is telling you straightforward, this is what I want, then what do you have to doubt? I right. like that. Yeah, and I think, like, if you're thinking – and, like, my thing is that, like, I don't have any thought in my mind that, like, I own her or, like, she's my property. So it's, like, if this is something that she wants to do, she can go do it. You know what I mean? Like, and to me, it's, like, I don't, I'm not jealous just because – like that's just gonna stress me out like right. that's not gonna stop like if she right. wanted to go do something she's gonna go do something like it, that's not my place to act like i'm controlling her so now, now real quick though can i get in here a little bit sure because you said the trust thing uh-huh. do you feel like you trusted him at the point when you went through his emails mm. no I, I i don't think i trusted him i think i trusted point- him more i definitely think swinging fortified our relationship ah Okay. Yeah. I mean, because it makes you have to communicate. Like, the fact that, like, yeah. we can actually talk about, like, the people that we're attracted to, it's, like, like out. And it, Girls I, get mad. So, so I, I used to feel, like, sometimes I was, like, you out here looking thirsty, like, in all these host pictures and, like, leaving these comments. Like, what does that make me look like? Like, you, yep, like, yep. like, it makes you look thirsty, like, whatever. And then I was, like, like, after having the conversations, like, it was after we had all these conversations and I'm, like, no, this man loves me. Yeah. Like, this man loves me. So, and I love myself. It's funny because so, I think when you're in relationships, the the jealousy and insecurity and the distrust comes from you being scared that he's going to be with another person. Right. When you're swinging, y'all are both allowing each other to be with other people. Right. So yeah. you don't have the time to sit here and be like... Oh, I wonder if he's talking to somebody else without me, et cetera, et cetera. And because you guys open yourselves to dealing with other couples, these are things that you guys are talking about. You guys know each other's types. Right. You right. guys know yeah. what, what, what you're into. You guys are open to a sense to where you're not worried about him going out looking for other pussy because here you go. We go into a Caligula next weekend. Right. You, I know you're good. We're at the strip club being like, how about we take her and have her do a private show for us? And so right. it's just that comfortability with yourself. Also, yeah. you you have to be secure enough as well as you to, yeah. to be able to be in this type of style And I think that's something you could gain through the experience. Like I said, like until I went to Caligula, I felt like if I was able to fuck naked in front of everybody, 
Girl, say it. <laughs> <laughs> How much more confident can you Hello. get? Hello. Right. In front of people letting them see all your bad angles. Because yeah. listen, yeah. when you fucking, yeah. you not always in the prettiest of angles. The mascara, Every, your roll, the hair, girl, the, the roll is showing, yeah. the butt is jiggling, the dimples is out. You going to see Everything. it all. You yeah. going to see it all. I appreciate that. So as you guys know... um, Every episode we do home right, mail. Yeah. Home mail. He said he was excited about this, and this was a good one. We're gonna do one this episode because we're almost out of time. But also, this one's long and has a lot to to break into. If you guys are interested in sending us your home mail, you guys can do so at horribledecisions at gmail dot com. So let's go ahead and get into this one. This one is titled "How Did We Get Here." <laughs> Hi, ladies. Love, love, love your show. I was introduced to your show by a good friend who knows what an undercover whore I truly am. You ladies are awesome. I am writing you to ask what you think of my situation. My boyfriend and I were going through a tough time, so we broke up. We are still in the patching up stages, and honestly, I don't know if the relationship will work out in the end, but right now our sex life has dramatically changed. We went from not being intimate after the breakup to exploring a bunch of kinky stuff recently. A little over a month ago, I jokingly said I I jokingly said I'd have to force him to wear my panties, and so he did. He enjoyed that, and so we started panty play. Then we got into discussion about what else he would like um, to try, and anal came up for both him and I. Long story short, he took that shit like a champ, whereas <laughs> okay. I'm still working my way up the anal training kit ladder. Since he did so well with the plug and the dildo, we decided to try pegging. But he wasn't trying to have the little bitty dildo, so I got a 9-inch dildo. Again, (laughs) he took that real well, and he loves it rough, too. Next, check this out. It escalated to an 18-inch double dong. The idea idea was that it would be for both of us, Mm -hmm. but we ended up using it just on him. All 18 inches. That was a super shocker. (laughs) <laughs> some other things some other random things we've incorporated is he started calling me goddess I had him wear a ball oh gag while I fucked the shit out of his ass I've been spanking him he's recently worn one of my thigh high garter belts during sex and here comes the big one lately <laughs> we've been discussing a threesome with a transsexual he's stated he's not attracted to males but would like for both of us to get fucked by a tranny I'm not going to lie, and excuse me for the word training, I'm reading the email. I'm not going to lie, a bit of me gets excited by the thought of this, but a part of me is terrified of it. I just don't have the confidence to be that comfortable around a third party. So here's the questions, mm, guys. Okay. So I guess my question to you guys is, is it possible that an anal virgin could take a dildo so well on his first try? I mean, I've had a finger in my ass before many times and still can't work my way up to a larger plug. But here my guy just l- takes that shit like it's nothing. Two, if I do decide to explore this threesome, how do we go about meeting and training for a hookup? And three, how do I bring it back to normal sex? Not that I'm not enjoying exploring because I am for the most part, but I really miss being vulnerable to him and just being the lady. Will it ever go back to normal? Signed, how did we get here? I loved this letter, and when I knew y'all were coming on the show, I said, flag, uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, let me ask. So, I guess, let's answer the first question first. Okay. Um, and real quick, have you ever had anal play yourself? So, we started, we just, y'all, like, recently started. Y'all were started, tapping each other's thigh the whole time. <laughs> we we, we, we like, recently Ooh. started with a, what's that, like a, what's that, like a um, prostate massager I mean, well, typing? we started with my fingers. Yeah, That's yeah. What, well, well, we started tongue with the before, tongue, tongue before, before yeah, tongue. There, there's there's levels. Yeah, yeah. So tongue, tongue, then fingers. fingers, and then and like, then and then we got to like. I was a toy. I was at the sex shop. Like, what do you think of this one? This one, <laughs> taking pictures, sending okay. them to him. But guys, you will never feel an orgasm like Ooh. a prostate orgasm. Oh, say that. <laughs> I be trying to tell oh. niggas, yo, G spot is in your booty hole. It ain't gonna make you gay. Let me just, yo, it's and the you truth. know, I be trying it to just... put my, I will clearly, I ain't fucking with nobody that's letting me because yeah. my, my, my acrylics has been long. But if y'all see me with short nails, it's because I got a nigga let me play in that booty hole. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So no, it, it's true. The prostate, a prostate orgasm is like I like literally like, I left like I couldn't think. And if you're into cum. There's a lot more with that orgasm yes. than a regular one. Like it, the way I the way I described it is like if you empty in a gas tank regularly, like when you come, but like this was like going into the reserve. Like oh. this was like this is like a whole nother like level of like I don't, know know where where <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where this shit came from. I don't even know where this shit came from. So yeah. <laughs> so how well did you take it? Like nah, if, it was if tough. it was your so it was, it was tough. tough. So do you feel like 
I mean, I the, the same way dicks are different, the yeah. same way vagina holes are different. I feel like the same way asses assholes are different. Definitely. I mean, so just because he's taking it well doesn't necessarily mean he's done it before. Maybe he's played with himself prior. That in the and past. then he also could just like pain. Ooh, you know what I mean? Like he just might be in a plane. Say he likes it rough, right? I mean, it does sound like he likes to be dominated. Like that sounds like his thing. So Absolutely. like it, like he might just like the pain. That well, goes I didn't a lot, and I want to know what kind of lube they use. Facts. Bit, hopefully, <laughs> Spunk Lube. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Spunk Lube sponsored our last um, live show and is also sponsoring. But I'll actually probably I should have brought some for you guys. But we have Spunk Lube and it's super. You have to let me know how. Oh how, right, yeah. So, but I didn't even think that. So maybe he just likes it rough. So even yeah. though he's taking, he makes it, it look easy. Yes, which oh I I know I be <laughs> ego wise I be taking some big old dicks and I be like this shit hurts but I gotta throw it back. Yeah. <laughs> that shit be yeah. hurting. Okay, so th- so so I guess to the to he the may part- or may not be a virgin. I mean, but it's like, but either way, like either if way, he's you're not, doing it right. Yeah. Does it matter? Does it, yeah, does it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. fucking matter. Um, if they decide to explore the threesome, how do they go about meeting a tranny for a hookup? And I think this is interesting because that's kind of what you guys are in the process of doing now. How do you find one? Honestly, I don't fucking know. Like, you know, I mean, because oh, like I'm, I'm trying to find out too. So if they so once I, they find and, out, and let me know. It's crazy because I do have friends, um, guy friends who have opened up to me and who are into trans right and um craigslist was the way they were yeah. finding the them. way craigslist was the way for everything craigslist way for everything. was the way they were finding them um also if you you could be on lo- uh, a lot of people do use the hashtags on instagram mm, okay. so if you type in ts trans woman, oh oh actually oh, i do have see? an answer Boom. tumblr Ah. Tumblr is the is the come up for like if you want to find other swinger couples, if you want to find trans women, if you want to basically anything, and like they'll have like full pages and stuff that you can con- yeah. and you can contact yeah. via you can Tumblr. Contact- yeah, yeah, Tumblr. Ah, Tumblr so, is the only okay, one. so Tumblr you might want to check. Also, when you're on um, the dating apps, I would say maybe Google if there's a transgender site that would maybe. be comparable yeah. to like a Tinder or. Um, a lot of people think Field is a lot more field. open. Okay, so Field may also be, and also there's quite a bit of fetish sites yeah. that you could possibly look into yeah. where and message boards. I mean, that's really old school. Yeah. To to try the message boards, but that would be a way. Um, and also if you maybe just go to some gay clubs. Exactly, mm. and there's like trans, there are trans strip clubs, right? Yeah. So maybe oh, right. you meet girls there, and if if you know, hey, what's your contact? And you they do, know other trans women this? who may be into joining. Yeah, couples. you can you can find it. Yeah, you just it, 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 you gonna need to do research. Start with events. Yeah, I think they're definitely events. Yeah, I think that's that's how you started. Yeah, because um, I started going to I went to a trans strip club. They have it like every Wednesday or something. Actually, what's today? Can you actually share that? Because we have a lot of New York listeners. Yeah, yeah. So where is the trans um it's strip at, club in New York? I feel like it's at Fairy Tales on Wednesdays. Okay. I want to say from like six to don't sit 11. here and talk about. I want to say you know they schedule. I mean, nah, I mean, I be, I be <laughs> no, cause they send they send texts. So I was uh, like, okay. so I think it's it's at Fairy Tales. I know they usually have it. Okay, but so yeah. look up Fairy Tales. That could also um, right now you're not comfortable with a third party. This could be maybe the stepping stone before yeah. you actually bring one into the bedroom. Yeah, go to the strip club and make sure that you're aroused by this because. Something else that I also think would be terrible to do is you agree to do this with him because he wants to, and then you waste everyone's time because they get there and you realize I can't go through with this. Right. So I think the yeah. stri- the strip club is a be, nice way to ease is into a great it. way to yeah. ease into it. And then just the last question um, before we get out of here is how do you bring it back to normal sex? I think they need to get rid of that word normal. Ooh. Like, because I think that in general, I think that it's like, this is what he likes. So, and like, because I think they said at the beginning that they had a problem like with intimacy with from inti- the jump. Yep. So, like, now the fact that like you've actually got him excited. He's ex- that's why it's this is such what we great act. sex now yeah. <laughs> because now he's able to open up and do the, the shit that yeah. he wanted to do. Um, I guess she maybe wants to take back and. It sounds to me when you said maybe he just likes to be dominated. Yeah. Maybe there is a thing called a control change, which is something that I like. Yeah. I actually like to be the dominant one in the bedroom. However, sometimes I am with someone who wants to be the dominant one. Mm. Um, and so you can discuss, hey, babe, tonight can you fuck the shit out of me? Right. Can I be the submissive? And again, that has to go just back to communication with you telling him. 100%. Yes. Like, listen, babe, I know we've been doing what we've been yeah. doing, but can I be... You know, the yeah. lady tonight, which is what she said in the email. How do I go back to being the lady? She could dominate his ass to, and, and, to make her the know, lady. Well, not only that, there's yeah. also ways that after you fuck the shit out of him, y'all can switch mid 
in the middle of right, having sex. Right, and right. Then he, there, there are no rules for this. There are no yeah. rules. I, I 100% agree. Um, so I hope that that helped. Um, we are about to wrap up. Before we wrap up, I do want to um, give a shout out to a couple other podcasts. If you guys are looking for other podcasts, um, there's one by my homegirl Carla out in Orlando. It's called Shit I'm 30. It's a podcast <laughs> where they discuss everything that you deal with as a 30 year old. I'm only 27. So bitch, I ain't there yet, but I listen. It's, it's hilarious. They talk their, their most recent episode talked about dating, um, broke and being broke and how you adjust with that and what you expect from your partner at a certain age in your life. When you reach a career, when you we're not in high school anymore, yeah. now what? Um, so shout out. If you guys are looking for other podcasts to listen to shit, I'm 30. Also shout out cocktails. Um, they're very similar to us. They're, um, women empowerment and also open and unfiltered with sex. They, they are Kiki and Medina out of Atlanta, and you guys got to see them at our live show if you came to the Atlanta live show. And then another one is called The Black Widow. Mm-hmm. It is actually more of a narrative. You hear stories, um, and it's just really good. So I got wet at my desk. It was <laughs> about a girl. She met a nigga at a pool. And so it's not actually open dialogue. It's actually more storytelling. Nice. But right. it's, it's all about sex. and. Y'all know I like Zane. I talked about it. I read sexual erotic books, and so it's like listening to it in your ear. So before we go out, this is Gabe. This is Ashley. They anonymous, but not really. So how can our listeners contact you if maybe they have questions about swinging or want to play with you guys? Yeah, if y'all are interested, I mean, we're around our Ooh, kick. we around. We're around. <laughs> our, our kick is, uh, that's K-I-K, yes. um, is Blacksican Couple, the same way. Can you way. spell that? I, and I'll put it in the description yeah. so y'all, you know, because y'all be really curious about this shit. Yeah. So <laughs> it's called Blacksican? Yeah, B-L-A-X-I-C-A-N. Okay. Couple. Couple. All one word. And then if you want to email us, it's blacksicancouple16 at gmail. Branding. Yes. Blacksican <laughs> couple. Yeah. Why did I not know about this? Yeah. Damn, I, was... I didn't know y'all had a name. Y'all, well, out, here, y'all out here like yeah. a singing group. Okay, Destiny's Child. I mean, if, if you want to hit us up, like actually be like serious and like. don't. He said I mean? don't if, waste our time. Yeah, and if you have questions, like that's cool. Like, you know, we've dealt with a lot of different couples in a lot of different stages. Like they could have been new. Like some have been like, like really like into it. Like, you know. Yeah. We've, we're open. We've, we've been in this for a while and you see a lot pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Also, um, before we get out of here, again. Again, guys, we are working on our audio. If you liked the audio and y'all ain't had no problems with the audio on this episode, please let me know. Also, we are recording out of Gotham Podcast Studio. Um, we're off Fulton, like we hit right smack dab in the middle of Manhattan. So if you guys are looking to create a podcast or looking for a new place to record your co- podcast, um, go ahead and their Instagram is at Gotham Podcast Studio. Um, I'll go ahead and tag them on our Instagram as well. Check them out. They have two rooms. It's availability. Like, And if you guys like the sound of us today, this is where the fuck we're recording. Um, so shout out again, Gotham Podcast. Shout out to everyone coming to the New York Live Show, June 22nd. Sorry, hoes, tickets out. I don't know what to tell y'all, but I'm excited to see all of y'all. Um, and again, we'll be back to the regularly scheduled program. Weezy should be on the next episode. We should be back in the building. It'll be all lit. Anyways, guys, again. This has been yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah, ho.